Hey what is up guys, welcome back to another Minecraft Java video. Today we're going to be taking a look at OptiForge and OptiForge is basically going to allow us to use Optifine with Forge at the same time. So I know a lot of you have been asking about using Forge with Optifine at the same time and now thanks to the OptiForge mod we are able to use Optifine with Forge at the same time. And I am on the latest release of Minecraft Java Edition, which is the 1.17.1 latest update, as you can see on the top left of my screen there. And as you guys can see, I am running some shaders here alongside the Journey Map mod as well, which is a Forge only mod, which, and you can only get this on Forge at the moment. It's not available on Fabric. So you can see on the top right there, and if I press the J key on my keyboard, you can see that I am using the journey map mod here and if i go back into my options and video settings you can see i've got the shaders button here at the bottom it does say optifine and also if i press the f3 key on my keyboard you can see on the top left there it does say minecraft 1.17.1 forge version 37.0.34 so at the moment that is the latest release of forge and if you just look where it says a few lines below that it does say Optifine version 1.17.1. The, it's the pre-33 release. And in terms of the shaders, I am using the Oceano shaders version 3.0.1. So you guys can see that I am using Forge. It does say it over here on the top there. And I am using Optifine at the same time. So with this Optiforge mod, we are able to use Forge with Optifine together so basically we can use shaders and mods at the same time so i know some of you have been waiting a long time to use forge alongside optifine because that's what you were used to and you were waiting for those two to be released unfortunately we can't use optifine directly with forge we have to use the optiforge mod which is okay and i have been testing this and it seems to be working fine at the moment so i'm going to show you guys how to download and install optiforge and I'm also going to show you how to download and install Forge for Minecraft Java Edition 1.17.1 and also how to download and install Optifine for Minecraft Java Edition 1.17.1. I'm also going to show you how to download and install the shaders. So I'm going to use the Oceano shaders as an example so you guys can see these shaders really do look really nice. We've got some nice sky effects going on and the area which this shader does shine is the actual water. It is based on the nice water effects as you guys can see over here. I'm also going to show you guys how to download and install the journey map mod as well, which I've got installed here. It's a really cool mod, actually. So if you guys haven't tried this mod out, I would highly recommend that you give it a go. And with the OptiForge mod, you should be able to download and install all of the other Forge based mods as well and use the shaders at the same time. Just look at that view. It looks really nice. And it's all thanks to the OptiForge mod that we are able to use shaders with mods and uh, we can use Forge with Optifine at the same time. So I'm going to show you guys how to download and install Optifine now and get everything set up so you can basically use mods and shaders at the same time for Minecraft Java Edition version 1.17.1. All right, so the first thing we're going to make sure is that we are using the latest version of Java because we do need Java to open up the installers for Forge and Optifine because we do need to install Forge and we also need to install Optifine. So let's go into our internet browser and just type in Java JDK 16 and search for that. And it should be the first link, which is the oracle.com link. So click on that link and it should open up the Oracle website. And I will leave a link in the description for all of the downloads I'm showing you guys today. And I'm going to click on the Windows X64 installer because I am using a Windows based machine. And I'm going to download this file and then I'm going to wait for this download to finish and I'll be right back. All right. So as you guys can see, it has finished downloading the Java JDK file. So let's close this down. Let's close down this tab. Now let's search for Forge. So just type in Minecraft Forge in your search bar and we need to go to the files.minecraftforge.net website. This is the official website for Minecraft Forge and we're going to download the installer for the latest release. So as of today, the latest release is version 37.0.34 and let's click on the installer and we have to wait for this to generate a link and then we can click that link to start the download. So let's go ahead and do that now. And as you guys can see, it's going to start the download and let's wait for that to finish. All right. So as you guys can see, it has finished downloading Forge version 1.17.1. This is the Forge version 37.0.34. 
installer. So let's close this down. The next file we need to get now is the Minecraft Optifine installer. So just type in Minecraft Optifine and search for the Optifine link and it should be the Optifine.net website. That is the official Optifine download website and click on the download section and then as you guys can see it says Minecraft version 1.17.1. Click on preview versions and we need to download the latest preview version. And so at the moment it is the pre 3.3 release and I'm going to click on the mirror link here to start the download quickly and as you guys can see it has started the Optifine 4 version 1.17.1 installer download. I'm going to keep that file and let's wait for that to finish up its download. Let's close down this tab and the next file now we need to download is the OptiForge file which is the mod file. So in your search bar just type in Minecraft OptiForge which is spelled O-P-T-I-F-O-R-G-E and search for that and you should see a curseforge.com link so click on that link and now it should show you a website that looks something like this and you should be able to see it says OptiForge this is the CurseForge website and again where it is 1.17.1 and we just need to make sure that we are using the latest release of the OptiForge file so click on files and scroll down and look for the version so as of today we are on version 1.17.1 so this is the version we need to download so click on the latest release version make sure that you are downloading the latest release and as you can see it says OptiForge version 1.17.1 I'm going to click on download and I'm going to wait for the download to finish all right so as you guys can see it has finished downloading OptiForge for Minecraft Java Edition version 1.17.1 so just make sure that you are using the latest release of OptiForge all right so let's close this down the next file we're now going to get is the Forge mod so as I showed you guys earlier I did download the journey map mod so in your search bar again just type in Minecraft journey map and it should come up with a CurseForge link. So just scroll down for and look for the curseforge.com website and we can download the latest release from here. And again, if we just scroll down to the recent files, you will see it does say journey map for version 1.17.1. I'm going to click on this file and then I'm going to click on the download button here to start the download. So let's wait for that to start and finish the download. All right, so as you guys can see, it has finished the journey map download for version 1.17.1. So I'm going to close this down. I'm now going to go into the search bar again. And finally, we can get our shader pack. So let's go ahead and type in OCR no shaders in the search bar. And you should have a curseforge.com link again. And we should be able to download the latest release on this section. So we can see the latest release at the moment is OCR no shaders version 3.0.1. So I'm going to click on download and we're going to wait for the download to start and then finish as well. All right, so as you guys can see, the Oceano Shaders version 3.0.1 file has finished downloading. This is a zip file. What I'm going to do now, guys, I'm going to place all of these files on my desktop and I'm going to show you how to actually install everything and get everything set up so you can use Optifine with Forge and then you can play with the shaders and mods at the same time. All right, so as you guys can see, I have placed all of the files on my desktop and the first file I'm going to install now is the Java JDK file. So I'm going to double click on this file and start the installation. As you guys can see, it does say this software has already been installed on your computer. Would you like to reinstall it? I'm going to select yes so I can show you guys the default process. I'm going to click on next for all of the screens here and then just wait for that to finish installing. It should be a fairly quick installation. All right, so as you guys can see, it does say Java has been successfully installed. So we can close this down. And then let's move this file out of the way. So the next file I'm going to install now is Optifine. So I'm going to right click on the Optifine installer. This is the preview version at the moment I've got here. And because we've got Java, I can now right click on this and select open with and then select a Java platform SE binary. And then it should open up the Optifine installer as it shows here on my screen. So it does say Optifine HD Ultra G9 Pre 33 for Minecraft 1.17.1. I'm going to click on install and it should be a fairly quick installation. So as you can see, it says Optifine is successfully installed. I'm gonna close this down now, and we can now move this file out of the way. The next file I'm gonna install now is Forge. So we've got the Forge version 1.17.1, and this is the Forge version 37.0.34 installer. I'm gonna right click again, select Open With, and then select Java Platform SE Binary, and it should look something like this. So this should be the Forward installer. I'm gonna leave everything how it is, and I'm gonna click on OK. And it should look something like this when it's installing. 
and just wait for that to actually finish the whole installation for Forge and you should get a confirmation message that it has finished. So as you guys can see, it says successfully installed the client profile Forge for version 1.17.1 Forge 37.0.34 into launcher. So click on OK and we can now move this file out, out of the way. Okay, so now we need to place the mod files and shader files into our Minecraft directory. So I'm gonna open up the uh, Minecraft launcher and you should notice two things in this launcher now when it does load up. So you should notice a drop down here that says Optivine and a drop down that says Forge. So make sure that it is selected for the Forge instead of Optivine and click on the installations section over here and just hover your mouse over any of these lines, it doesn't matter which one, and then click on the folder icon, as you guys can see I'm doing right now, and it should open up your Minecraft directory. We can now close down the launcher, and we can now go into a folder which says mods. So as you guys can see, I have got a mods folder here, and I can basically go inside this. If you guys don't have a mods folder, you can right click anywhere on an empty space, click on new, and then click on folder, and then rename it to mods. All right, so let's go into the mods folder. And as you can see at the moment, it is empty. So let's put these two files into the mods folder. So as you can see, I've placed the Optiforge MC 1.17.1 file, and it's a jar file in the mods folder, and the journey map jar file for version 1.17.1 is also in the mods folder. So your mods folder should look something like this, essentially. Now let's go one level higher into back into the Minecraft directory. Now we should have a shader packs folder. So some of you might not actually have a shader packs folder, depending on whether you've installed Optifine or Iris shaders in the past. So if you don't have this shader packs folder, just right click anywhere on an empty space, click on new, click on folder, and then rename it to shader packs. So I'm going to go into the shader packs folder and I'm going to place the OCR no shaders zip file into the shader packs folder. So let's go into the folder. I'm going to drag the Oceano shaders into the shader packs folder. So your folder should look something like this with the Oceano shaders in the shader packs folder. You can now close this down and go back into the Minecraft launcher. And now we can actually launch the game and hopefully everything should be set up to allow us to load up OptiForge into the game and allow us to play Optifine with Forge. So in the drop down, always make sure that we are selecting Forge. It, it will show Optifine. So if you, don't, if you don't want to play with any of the mods, you're not interested with Forge, you just want to play with Optifine, that's fine. You can just select Optifine over here, but we do want to select Forge because we do want to play with Forge and Optifine at the same time. You can also go into your installation section here and then click on the play button for Forge. So click on play and it should load up the game and you should see a message on the screen that says Forge and you will know that Forge is installed. So let's wait for the game to load up now. All right, so as you guys can see, we have got the game loaded now. Let me maximize that. So you can see it does say on the top here, warning Forge beta, telling us that the Forge is in beta at the moment. On the bottom left, it does say Forge 37.0.34, and it does say Minecraft version 1.17.1. And you can also see it does say three mods loaded. So if I go into the mod section, at the moment, it is showing Minecraft, Forge, and Journey Map. So you might not actually see OptiForge on the air, but we will be able to tell that it is working. If we go into the options screen, and if we go into the video settings, we should have a button here that does say shaders. So let's click on this shaders button here, and we can see that the Optifine is working because it is allowing us to select the shaders. So it might say off for you guys. So if it does say that, just click on your shader file, whichever shader you wanna use, click on the shader file name, and it should apply it. So let's wait for that to actually load back in and I'm going to apply the Oceano shaders again. So it might show you as the shaders is off. So click on Oceano shaders or whichever shader pack you decide to download and install. All right, so once it reloads and now we can also go to shader options and we can select the different shader options as well. And you can also do that in game. So it doesn't have to be on this section here. So let's go into single player. Let's create a new world. Let's create survival world, create new world. Let's wait for that to load up the game now. All right, so as you guys can see, it has loaded us into the game and you can tell we've got shaders installed because of how the water is looking and the sky boxes here, everything looks really nice as you guys can see. And if I press the J key, you can see that journey map has loaded as well. So we know that the mods are working with the shaders as well. I can go into options, video settings, shaders, and then shader options and I can change my profile to high and click on done and that should 
apply the higher setting for the shader pack as well. And if I press the J key, you can see, as I mentioned earlier, we do have the journey map mod as well. Another way to check it is to press the F3 key and in the debug console, you can see at the top there it does say Minecraft version 1.17.1 Forge. And then you can also see if you look down a few lines there on the fifth line, it does say Optifine version 1.17.1 and it does say Oceano shaders dot zip as well. So everything is working as it should. And we can now play with Optifine and Forge at the same time. And everything is working as it should. And we should be able to play with Optifine and Forge at the same time. So hopefully you guys have found this video useful. If you have, please do give us a like. If you have any questions about how to download and install Optiforge or any questions about how to download and install Forge or how to download and install Optifine for Minecraft Java Edition version 1.17.1, do leave them in the comment section below and I'll do my best to try and help you guys out. If you do come across any problems or any bugs with using Optiforge, or Optifine and Forward at the same time, do leave them in the comment section below so others can see as well. And please do also subscribe to this channel to help support it, help it grow. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching.